This is Anfisa from Retina Coach and today I will talk about diagnostic vitrectomy or vitreous biopsy. Vitreous biopsy is an important and useful method for establishing the etiology of a typical intraocular inflammation and ruling out malignancy such as intraocular lymphoma. In case of endophthalmitis, diagnostic vitrectomy performed also for therapeutic purpose. It may remove a large number of organisms seeding the vitreous cavity and as a result decreasing the disease activity. Vitrectomy has a high diagnostic yield for culture. Prior to surgery, important to communicate with the lab to determine its preferences for specimen processing and handling and also prepare the tubes for material collection. In case when anterior chamber tap is planned, in addition to vitreous biopsy, scleral cannulas should be placed prior to it. Anterior chamber paracentesis causes hypotony and insertion of cannulas in the soft eye is quite challenging. Before starting the diagnostic vitrectomy, the infusion cannula should be placed and confirmed to be in the vitreous cavity. The light pipe can insist in the cases with opac media. Usually in diagnostic vitrectomy, undiluted and diluted vitreous samples are taken. Undiluted samples obtained at the beginning of the procedure with infusion line closed. The surgeon visualizes the vitrector probe and monitors the eye for choroidals and proper removal of the vitreous. As soon as choroidals are seen, the surgeon stops vitrectomy and opens the infusion. Approximately one millimeter of the vitreous fluid can be removed in this fashion. Some surgeons perform fluid air exchange to maintain an eye pressure while taking an undiluted sample. But air in the phacic eye may create a lens feathering, which may alter the further visualization during the surgery. And also air removal increases duration of the surgery. Undiluted sample is high concentrated, which enhance the diagnostic yield and especially important in case of suspected intraocular lymphoma. Diluted sample mixed with a BSS solution coming from the infusion system. To perform a high quality diluted sample, it's important to remove the vitreous during vitrectomy and not just aspirate a BSS solution. Usually around 10 milliliters of diluted sample are aspirated. Other important tip for diagnostic vitrectomy is to reduce a cut rate less than 1000 to minimize morphological alterations in the sample. One of the techniques to prepare vitrectomy system for diagnostic vitrectomy is by disconnecting the aspiration line and placement of the three-way tap. When the valve is turned with off towards the side port, the aspiration material comes through the aspiration line forced by the vacuum created by the vitrectomy system. When the valve is turned with off towards the line, there is no vacuum from the vitrectomy system. In this case, the syringe connected to the side port will create a vacuum sufficient for the sample aspiration. I want to show you the same case of diagnostic vitrectomy from the assistant view. Assistant shows now that the valve is turned with off towards the aspiration line. It means that vacuum will be created by the syringe. Collection of undiluted sample starts with infusion system closed. The assistant pulls the plunger forward to create a vacuum in the syringe at the same time the surgeon performs vitrectomy and monitors the choroidals. You can see a vitreous sample come into the syringe. When the choroidal is observed, the surgeon removes the vitrector and the assistant continues to create a vacuum, thus allowing to all the vitreous sample from the vitrector get into the syringe. More videos you can find in our YouTube channel. Subscribe to it to stay updated and visit our Retina Coach website. Thank you for your attention.